Yo, why do you think you're so bad at friendship? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, you have to. How else are you going to solve your problems? Through feats of strength and fire duels, of course. <laughs> How does that help? Crushing another dragon in competition establishes my dominance and makes me feel great. Right, but uh, how do you think they feel? Humiliated! Ashamed! They'd probably want to run away and bury themselves under a rock and... never come out. They're probably sad. Kinda low. Definitely not happy. That's because that kind of competition can divide you. And it doesn't get to the heart of the issue. Talking about your feelings does. I think I'm allergic to feelings. You know, you don't have to be sappy or huggy-feely about it, but you should let your friends know how you feel. Uh, I know where we can start. Where? Oh, Spike. <laughs> I got there. I think they're gone. They probably never want to see me again. Or, they want to see you now. Guess what, Spike? I know. I'm so sorry. Let me talk about this! I... feel... <gasps> mad. <sighs> okay, that's a good first attempt. Now maybe try to be more specific? I'm... <sighs> upset! You have every right to be. I know I do! And I know I need to tell you how I feel because my friend, Thorax, said it would make me feel better. And it does! Yeah, and I have no problem telling you what you did was wrong because my friend, Ember, is helping me be more certain. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be mad at me. I was so worried about how it could go wrong, I didn't even think about how it could go right. Can you forgive me? I really do feel better. So, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> me too. Oh. Oh, again? <laughs> no way! It's finally happening! I solved the friendship problem! Actually, you created the friendship problem by not trusting your friends. Yeah, but then I solved it by learning my lesson. I should have told my two friends about each other immediately, instead of assuming they wouldn't get along. Good job, Spike. Is this another part of pony friendship? Telling each other what you learned all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yep. <laughs> so, as a show of unity, I present the Dragonfire Flame of Friendship to both Dragonlord Ember and Thorax, leader of the Changeling Pack. May the Flame of Friendship burn for eternity. You should have more things made of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> are looking good and we made good time today at this rate we'll be at winsome falls by tomorrow we should do the annual big sister little sister camping trip every weekend then it wouldn't be annual and if we did it every weekend it probably wouldn't be a special but the more we do it the better we get at camping remember the first time we came here and rarity had that ginormous tent i heard that <laughs> i've gotten much better at roughing it haven't i Yep. This time, you only pack three suitcases. I know what you're thinking, but I promise I only brought the essentials. Like those light thingies? Of course. We 
What is life if you can't make it beautiful? Mmm, these berries look good enough to eat. Don't! According to my book, they're extremely poisonous! Here, even after the last camping trip. Don't worry, kid. You've got a big sister this time. This looks amazing! This is gonna be the best big sister slash little sister camping trip ever! Ow. <laughs> And strong sharing kindness it's an easy feat and magic makes it all complete you have mine do you know you're all my very best friends we'll be right back with discovery family Monday nights. There's such a small window of when that rib is perfect. Feel the temperature soar. Seriously, you didn't even know how to make ribs? As these barbecue pitmasters turn up the heat. If you can't hold temperature, you might as well not even show up. And cook out the competition. There's a possibility that I'm going home. Giddy up, baby. Who will be named Barbecue Pitmaster Grand Champion? $100,000 is mine. Barbecue Pitmasters, Monday starting at 7 on DFC. Yeah, it's on, man. It is on Thursday nights are all about, and that clock is speeding along, chefs. No, no, no. But not all chefs can stand the heat. Whose dish is on the chopping block? Chopped Thursday, starting at seven on DFC. Whether it's a last-second bake sale, Taco Tuesday, or a meal for your future in-laws, it's going to be great. With McCormick by your side for over 130 years, it's going to be great. My heart is yours, dear. Just take my hand. And I promise, just take my hand, darling. Say hello to diapers delivered to your door with a flexible subscription of mix and match designs and sizes. Because happy booties make for happy babies. Happy parents, too. Hello, Bello. Let's change your diapers. After Homoglow cleaned our place for $19, we fired our old housekeeper. Homoglow tackled everything from our kitchen to our bathroom, all our laundry. You just pick a date, pick a cleaner, and enjoy a spotless house for $19. I got you, Oscar. Mm. Thanks, Hedgehog. Best friends Oscar and Hedgehog find fun adventures. Oscar, let's do this. Easy peasy. And unlock unbelievable mysteries. Ha -ha. This changes everything. When they attend a magical sleepaway camp. All right, which one of you made the moon leap? Where things don't always go as expected. This is worse than I thought. Whoa. The most amazing adventures await yeah. on Summer Camp Island. Next on DFC. We're back with Discovery Family. from the Luna Bay area. Never seen them this far east, though. Probably attracted to the food. Best wait here until they're gone. Oh, apple rot. 
What are we supposed to do now? We had games to play and marshmallows to roast at camp. And here we got nothing. Mm, that's not entirely true. We have each other. That's right. And if you girls want to, maybe we could tell some stories to pass the time. You want stories? I've got a ton of stories. Spoiler alert, they're all about me and how awesome I am. I was thinking more like campfire stories. But we don't even have a campfire. I got this. Wow, that was brave. Uh, <laughs> it was 